Well, welcome my YouTube friends to another video on Atlanta to Dallas Aviation. And like most of my videos, it's another unboxing video, unboxing number 26. Um, I actually didn't think I was going to have something this weekend to uh, record for you as far as unboxings. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get this shipment in uh, in time to do one for this weekend, and it was going to be next weekend. However, it surprised me, and it was there on my front stoop um, uh, earlier this morning. So I decided that since it's been at least, a, I think, a couple of weeks before I had a video, that I better put one up there. Um, <clears throat> So today I have I have four models total, but only three of them are are uh, unique. So uh, I do have I did get a dupe, and I don't normally get dupes, uh, but I kind of got uh, a couple of these uh, partly because I do a I do plan eventually on doing some airport. Uh, updates and uh, I needed uh, I needed a couple of these since it didn't look like Gemini Jets was uh, particularly uh, keen on spitting too many of these out uh, so I did get a couple uh, of the same model and we'll get to that uh, when I reveal it and but I have been known to get duplicates um, once Airtran got bought by uh, Southwest, uh, I knew that I needed to buy, if I wanted to have some Airtran models, I was going to need to buy some, some dupes uh, because once airlines go away or certain liveries are replaced, um, those releases seem to be few and far between. Uh, so I do occasionally buy um, some duplicates. Uh, so we will go ahead with that. We'll go ahead and get uh, right into it. I'm going to start this video uh, with what I consider the least interesting uh, of the three models that I got. Not that, uh, you know, nothing... Nothing against this airline. It's just of of the three, uh, this is probably the least interesting. But uh, it's interesting all the same. So anyway, my first one we're going to do is this Spirit A320neo uh, by Gemini Jets. Uh, this item number there, if you can see it, I think you should be able to, is uh, uh, Golf Juliet November Kilo Sierra 2201. Uh, and it is in the uh, spirit.com uh, without you know, like the solid black lettering instead of whatever whatever everybody's been calling the other one that kind of looks like there's scratches on it. Um, so this is the full black um, lettering, uh, spirit.com uh, livery and with the raccoon mask around the uh, cockpit windows. Um, and so this registration is November 971, November Kilo. Uh, and it was delivered to Spirit in December of 2022, so making it almost a year old. So let's go ahead and bring this, this model in. Get ready for our 360 here. All right, that might be a little bit too close for 360. All right. So we'll start on the port side and go around here. Of 
Christmas is coming up. Hopefully that means uh, I'm going to get a turntable. Because see, if I had a turntable, the turntable could do the turn, and I could read off uh, some additional information about this plane. But as it is, I'm going to have to wait till I do the 360 by hand, and then I'll give you the other information that I dug up on this particular aircraft, including power plants and uh, uh, seating arrangement. Uh, seating, I guess seating arrangement is correct. This could be, I, I can't remember if I still have a Spirit livery aircraft on order with, um, with NG or not. Because I just can't remember. Didn't NG put out, um, announce one of these and it's just not out yet? Um, I know they put out one that doesn't have the raccoon uh mask around the cockpit windows and um and i know that they put out a neo with the uh the scratchy looking billboard titles uh, but i can't remember if they announced one similar to this but just with a different reg number if they did that one will probably be my last spirit um plane unless they end up not merging with JetBlue. Uh, otherwise, this one might be my last one. Alright, so let's get a little bit closer now. Okay. Um, Alright. It didn't like that, huh? Ooh, there we go. That might have helped. Except when I pull my hand away. It likes my hand there, but when I move my hand, it gets all un... Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to move out a little bit. Hopefully that'll fix it. Sorry guys, I hate wasting time trying to get my camera to do right. Especially since I have to do these in one takes. All right, so uh, the other things I wanted to tell you about this aircraft is it's powered by two Pratt & Whitney 1127Gs, uh, also known as the geared turbofan, and definitely a, a problem child for um, Neos that are powered by this kind of engine. Uh, now, I would say geared turbofan is probably actually the better engine as far as um, fuel efficiency uh, over the leap engine, but it's been having a lot of teething pain. So um, until that gets fixed, uh, it's causing everybody with Neos that are powered with, with these a lot of problems. But anyway, it is powered by two of those. Um, the seating is uh, Spirit's uh, eight big front seats. So they've got eight um, seats in the front of the aircraft that are wider. Uh, and I guess they do have a little bit more leg room, but I would not equate it to normal domestic first class. It's just a, it's a wider seat with a little more leg room, um, but not but not like domestic first class. Uh, and then uh, the rest of the seating is 174 seats. All right. So we will take a look at this. Yeah, it still looks like it may be out of focus. All right, well, that's going to have to do. Um, all right, you may or may not be able to pick this up on 
on the video, but there is uh, some the raccoon mask here around the cockpit doors. Um, I'm not sure what that says underneath. Uh, did I say cockpit doors? I meant cockpit windows. Sorry, and I I don't know what this says. I'm guessing it's uh, like something like Airbus A320 Neo or A320 Neo or something, but I can't read it on my little screen. Uh, you got your L1 door and the nose gear uh, actually looks pretty good. It looks like it has the right forward looking angle to it. So it's not over angled. Uh, you got your spirits um, billboard titles here that kind of start just in front of the wing and in at the rear of the wing. And then uh, your gear turbofan engine here with um, spirit.com on the engine there. Um, it, it definitely looks like the engine is still too big, but I swear it is not as big as it once was. So I, I, I'm, I've got to commend Gemini Jets. I may be giving them kudos where kudos are not. Um, do, but it does look like they tried to get this a little more the correct size. Alright, so moving back in the great yellow banana. Um, you got your L2 door back there in the back with the registration and the American flag right under the, uh, the registration and then your spirit titles uh, going up the tail fin there. Ah, man. I hope that was in focus. That's in focus. I'm sorry. So we'll do a sort of a slow pull back here. Oh yeah, that definitely looks better than it was. I'm sorry. That was... I, I wasn't sure if it was out of focus, but it obviously was. So... Oh, and by the way... Um, you can't see it, but on the inside of the of the sharklet, it still says "Howdy." So that's still there. All right, so we got to move on from that. The second model I want to share with you. Now this one's going to be. Uh, it was hard to find information on this uh, aircraft because partly because it's. A Russian aircraft. Um, so the next one is oh I need to come out a little bit. The Antonov AN-26 uh, in the Cubana livery. Uh, as far as I can tell Cubana does not operate this aircraft anymore. Um, now what when I was looking it up, it did say the aircraft was still active, um, but I'm not sure how true uh, that is. But anyway, uh, so here is, uh, come on, focus, there you go. Uh, so Gemini Jets item number is Golf Juliet, uh, Charlie Uniform Bravo, one nine or seven zero and some inside the flap information there which is really nice I I, I like that uh, Gemini Jets puts um, some other information on the inside where others even though their box may look nicer they don't have any information about the aircraft other than uh, a name, if it has a name, and uh, the registration number. And speaking of registration numbers, uh, this one is Charlie Uniform Dash Tango One Two Two Nine. And uh, as far as I could tell, it like I said, it it is active and it's active evidently with some sort of air force so uh 
Fiorza, uh, Aera Revolutionara. I, I, I'm sure I butchered that, but, and I even practiced it and I still butchered it. But uh, that's supposedly who it's active with, but I couldn't find anything on that other than uh, it's some sort of Air Force. So, anyway, and this, I didn't write it down on my sheet, but the uh, this aircraft is powered by two Progress AI-24VTs. Uh, so some sort of turboprop of someone I've never heard of. Uh, right, so, and it says first flight, and I'm sure it's first flight of the Antonov 26 and not of of this aircraft type in Cubana livery. Uh, it says first flight was 1985, which I also couldn't find anything on, so uh, I'm not even positive it's still active. Alright, and my, my box here got a little bit crunched. So, we're going to have to do what we can do here. But it is a pretty neat little aircraft. It looks really nice. And you'll see here in a minute. Get in here on it for its 360. So as you can see, it's a T-wing, so the wings are on top of the fuselage. Now my model doesn't roll very well. I'm not sure if it's supposed to even, but it doesn't roll all that well. like that is all right so this is a very interesting uh, airplane uh, the only door that I even saw on here now it could be obscured by the wing it doesn't look like it is though uh, the only door I saw uh, was on the starboard side uh, near the cockpit uh, but from pictures that I saw online it actually looks like they board from the back of the aircraft. Um, similar to what you might think of the old DC-9s uh, and 727s. They have the little stairs uh, in the back. And also, uh, this, I, I, the, the pictures I saw of passengers getting on it, uh, they were going up little um, metal stairs in the back. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're thinking, hey, this looks like it could be more like a cargo plane, I think you would be correct. Um, and I don't, I didn't see any this way, but uh, it definitely looks like uh, back here in the back that there could be like a, uh, a ramp that comes down. Um, I'll take a look at it here real quick, but um, not a lot to point out here. Um, cockpit, cockpit here looks good. Uh, probably some sort of, I don't know if this is avionics bay down here or if, if, if some baggage can go there. Um, also don't, this is an interesting, I don't know what this is but it's molded uh, into the mold if you will 
So uh, that's kind of neat. Uh, Cubana titles are down here. Uh, you can actually see it better. Uh, I can't see it as well even in person, but you can see that Cubana is written under there at the bottom of the fuselage. Uh, you got your your props here. T-wing. Uh, you got a couple of windows back here in the back. Uh, you got Cubana again uh, on this dorsal here. And then the, uh, and I assume this is still uh, what it looks like on modern day Cubana airplanes is this logo, I guess. Um, now let me, let me look real quick here at the bottom and see what the bottom looks like. Oh, okay. Well, that's, so that's interesting. Um, oops, is it, it's not in the frame. I'm sorry. So, come on, focus on what you're supposed to focus on, dude. And you're still not focusing. All right, let's move out a little bit, maybe. All right, so you can kind of see uh, what the bottom looks like here. Uh, definitely looks like there could be a ramp here in between these two, uh, uh, whatever you want to call this. But that definitely looks like there could be a ramp back there that comes down. But like I said, the pictures I've seen, it's just a, there's staircases that the passengers are using. Now this doesn't say Cubana Cargo, so... I assume they were using this as a passenger plane. But it looks like there's not very many not very many windows to use. There's three on that side and there's three on this side along with uh, like I was telling you the door the only door back there well, anyway, it's a very nice model, so uh, if you're into uh, some Rus old-time Russian airplanes, I, I definitely recommend you getting that one. All right, and finally, the one that I got dual of, the brand new Delta Connection operated by SkyWest. Embraer ERJ-175 for, uh, I said Delta Connection already, by Gemini Jets. Uh, this is their item number here, is uh, Golf Juliet Delta Alpha Lima 2037. And uh, let's see. If you want to... I assume you can read that on your screen if you want to pause and look at that. All right, and this aircraft's uh, registration number is November 274 Sierra Yankee. Uh, and we'll get, uh, bring one of them in here. Get our 360 going here. here all right all right so starting on the port side Of course, this has the enhanced winglets and not the uh, uh, winglets that the ERJ-175 started with. I 
I think Gemini Jets did a really nice job on this one. Um, the mold still could be better, but um, it definitely gets the job done, and it certainly looks like what it's supposed to look, uh, you know, what it's supposed to uh, represent. Ah, stop it. Okay. Sorry about that. That was a weird noise, but that was just my my gloves scraping on the box making that weird noise. All right. So, let's see how close it'll allow me to get before it gets all blurry. All right. So a little bit more about uh, this ERJ-175. Um, it was delivered to SkyWest in June of 2018, uh, making it approximately uh, five and a half years old. It's powered by two General Electric CF-34-8Es. Uh, in the seating inside this aircraft is uh, 12 domestic first class, or uh, I can't remember what, I don't remember if Delta calls it Delta first or if that's on the international aircraft. But anyway, they're, they're domestic first class. 12 of those, they got 20 Delta Comfort, so uh, um, economy class seat, size seats but with more leg room and then there's 44 main cabin uh, economy seats all right so what you're looking at basically here in the front um, cockpit windows here uh, with the sky team logo right there uh, and operated by sky west is what this says even though i can't read it i'm sure that's what it says uh l1 door uh delta titles up here and then it says connection and even smaller letters underneath the window line uh here's the port side uh engine and moving back we have the registration the American flag before the registration, the L2 door, a view of the enhanced winglets, and finally back here in the back, uh, the tail fin with the onward and upward, I don't think it's upward and onward, I think it's onward and upward uh, widget symbol, and the APU back there in the back. So, that wraps up the, the models that I got today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, please consider liking, uh, commenting, and, uh, and even better, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so, until the next video, uh, happy collecting.